So I'm John Bach, Claudia introduced me. I've been with Snowflake since almost the very beginning. Hi, I'm Michael Nixon, Senior Director of Product Marketing. We've been in existence since 2012. We actually did bring our product to market officially at GA um, in 2015, although we've had customers who've been production customers for over two years at this point. We are a SQL data warehouse built and optimized for cloud infrastructure. And we'll talk a little bit more about what that means and how that differentiates from both on-prem infrastructure as well as from other options in the cloud. In a nutshell, how we're transforming uh, the data uh, analytics and warehouse industry is that we're enabling customers, end users, to do more with their data and to drive business. Snowflake was designed and developed from the very beginning to operate from the cloud. From the very first line of code, it was written for a cloud architecture, whereas if you take a look at most cloud databases or cloud warehouses today, that's not the case. They started in a legacy environment on-premises, right, and they ported it in effect to the cloud. And we think the key opportunities and, and value propositions for Snowflake is in the area of performance, concurrency, and simplicity. When you go to the cloud, you expect to be able to have some level of elastic scalability and have it very easily. It shouldn't be disruptive. So with Snowflake, we separated the storage layer from the compute layer, and then on top of that, we have a services layer. So it's very easy to add additional resources, and we don't do that as a disruption to your environment. Once you made a decision, you want to be in the cloud. All right. There's a manner of operation that's expected in that uh, cloud space that these other databases cannot facilitate. Uh, we have the metadata management of that uh, data that comes in. We have the security that's built in. We have um, the ability to have multiple queries running at um, simultaneous um, operations. And then obviously from a SQL perspective, you have full capabilities of your SQL semantics. We're ANSI SQL compliant, we are fully asset compliant. So the consistency, again, is all built into the Snowflake environment. Characteristic of scalability that I would focus on is more the elasticity of scalability. We do do a bit of um, smart analysis of the data. We determine what is likely to be used by the user in running their query, and guess what? We pull that portion of that data and we put it in memory um, into our compute layer. That is what enables us to run much quicker. We do not only pull in what we believe is necessary to execute the query, we actually put query results in cache so that that for any time you had to rerun that query again, uh, guess what, you get to do it uh, very quickly. We can take in that monster query, the system is smart enough to see that the query bogged down. After about 30 seconds, what will happen is it will spin up a new warehouse. And then what happens, the query times come back down. And so now you have two warehouses in place, one handling your normal query and then the other one's handling the monster query. And the system is smart enough to keep doing that. It'll keep rolling out new warehouses um, until all levels of performance are accepted. Acceptable. And we think this is a huge, huge advantage of Snowflake. We don't actually replicate the data. It's all operating on a common core data environment. And you instantiate that once and then all your logical views on top of that. And then this is what we constitute as a warehouse because from that user perspective, that's what they see. The automated side of this aspect of scalability yeah. will actually automatically scale down as query load decreases. So again, it's all built in. The security, the metadata management, the data protection, the pipelining, it's all built into our environment. Because we can natively work with the JSON data, the semi-structured data, there's no transformation that's required at the front end. We just basically load it into what we call a variant data source, or a variant data type, I should say. You load it in and then you can query against this variant data type. We are seeing customers move data from Hadoop, from traditional um, enterprise data warehouse, even NoSQL databases, and even some cloud platforms into Snowflake. We allow you to consolidate multiple data stores in the Snowhouse or Snowflake. Snowhouse. Snow yeah, like yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> Snowhouse is how we refer to That's it. It's called an igloo, by the way. <laughs> Our CEO has his own dashboard and it's called Bob Sled. Oh. oh, okay, so anyhow, <laughs> but when it comes to, to simple, easy to query, um, robust data warehouse, we don't think anyone has it better than, than Snowflake.